rid of that footage because we uh, have it running here on the uh, the main monitor. We'll go to it in just a second. This is the beauty of the live environment. Yeah, this. Oh God. Oh, this, so this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah, I got it all. Got, it, Adam's doing a fantastic job so far. It's been really good. So first of all, you're actually playing this right now. Yeah. That's right. And I, I do want to emphasize how yeah, beautiful we, <laughs> this game is. Oh, thank you. Um, well, well, yeah, Brian, tell me a little bit about what you guys want to show us uh, uh, this evening. So I think, I mean, the big thing is again, you know, I think that part of the Spider, the Spider-Man fantasy is to swing around New York City and, you know, to have, you know, not only just a great story, but have a bunch of different activities in that world. And we want to, you know, give people who attend E3 an opportunity to experience that. So, you know, obviously we, it's a big narrative driven experience, but at the same time, part of that superhero fantasy, especially that Spider-Man experience is living uh, within New York City and seeing that. So, um, you know, Adam is one of, uh, He's one of our combat pro players because uh, he's a combat designer. And uh, <laughs> again, he's just showing off some really awesome stuff that um, as you get better at the game, obviously, you know, we wanted to have a pick up a play field, but at the same time, have a level of mastery and to really uh, show off the improvisation that we've really been uh, talking about a lot since uh, we announced the game. I'm digging this, like sticking dudes to walls and to the floor and stuff. That looks really, yeah, really satisfying. I, mean, th I think the, the thing that's been really fun in these last, you know, I would say last six months since uh, we got back from the holiday break was every week I feel like I'll take the game home or I'll be playing one night and then I'll come in and say, wow, guys, I didn't know you could do that. So I think it's, there's a lot of that, there's that sandbox nature to it as well. So, I mean, obviously you can, you know, we have, you know, we're going to teach you mechanics, but we want you to experiment with, you know, his acrobatics, his webs, his gadgets, his suit powers. So combining all that stuff really allows for a lot of different gameplay and a lot of, you know, Spider-Man's a very expressive character, and we want players to be able to express that, whether it's in traversal or in combat. It's gorgeous. Too. These animations, sorry, yeah. these animations are just yeah. blowing my mind. Your, your studio has kind of been renowned for character animation and for, you know, just fluid motion. I mean, did you guys take a lot of lessons from your previous games and really, like, hone in on those when you were developing oh, I mean, I think animation's definitely been one of the hallmarks of our of our company, you know, from, you know, from Spyro to Ratchet to Sunset Overdrive. Yep. And I mean, you know, I remember when um, the Sunset Overdrive reviews came out, one person actually wrote, it would be great to see Insomniac make a Spider-Man game. And I was like, see, <laughs> see, we should make it. See? And I you think we you just, waved your phone around it, it, to the whole studio. Exactly. We took that kind of mentality and we just injected our kind of our personality, it, but also, um, you know, what do people want, desire from a Spider-Man experience. So, you know, it was really great as I remember um, probably around the end of the year, uh, in the last year, someone wrote an article about the top things they want to see in Spider-Man. And they said they want to feel like an Insomniac game. So. I think that's the, the thing we've been really layering on in this last year is to have that. Um, it feels like an Insomniac game as much as it does a Spider-Man game. And I love this traversal. I mean, just the fluidity of just moving over great distances very quickly. It looks like a lot of fun just moving around. And that's when you know you've got a great game. OK, so the, <laughs> okay, the and there, so you know how I kind of said like exper experimenting, but like sometimes, you know, I mean, game development, you know, we're, you know, we're, you know, we're in meetings a lot. And then sometimes you just need to like take a break. And what I used to find myself doing was just swinging around New York City, it was almost like therapeutic. It's just kind of like when I play other games, I just uh, walking or running or um, or even taking a car, it's just it feels so more natural now just to swing around, swing around like Spider-Man. So it's it's definitely one of those things that has that, again, just like combat, that pick and play feel, but we want players to have a level of mastery um, <laughs> as they play and get what better. What was that? Hold on a second. That's okay. very interesting what so, you're saying there. So like but, uh, I said, so Adam showed off, I think he showed off the tripwire. It's basically yep. a gadget that you can either attach to a piece of geometry and the enemies walk by, they'll get like grabbed and sucked back. But you can also attach it to an, an enemy and if an enemy walks by, they kind of slam into each other. That is amazing. This yeah. is so cool. What's this focus meter about? Uh, yeah, so the, the focus meter is basically, it's, there's kind of a, a risk reward. As you build focus, you can use it to he heal. <laughs> it's, it's having a religious it's experience. It just looks incredible. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's, the team works really, really hard on it. Really, really hard. Clearly. And the idea is the focus is kind of a way yeah. to, you can, it's a risk reward. Like I said, you can either heal yourself or you can kind of, um, if you get build, fill up the bar a certain way, you can actually pull off a finishing move. So, you know, as, as you play the game, you kind of say, well, do I want to maybe heal myself real quick, or do I want to wait for that really extravagant move to kind of 
take the guy out instantly. Got so. it. Brian, yeah. a question for you is, uh, obviously Spidey has, as with his experience, being under the mask for so many years now. Yep, eight years. Story, yeah. Eight years. Thank you. you got to be precise. I got it. <laughs> People, the first, the first, one of the first questions I get is, like, is it an origin story? I'm like, no. That was no, like, after we decided that the webs were definitely attached to the buildings, we decided it's not going to be an origin story. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, back to the combat, I mean, Spidey's experience, he has access to a lot of different techniques and technologies. How do you balance out his experience with the fact that you don't want to overwhelm a player with options, right? You want to make it approachable. You know, I, I really, that, that comes down to our, our combat team, our traversal team. Like and this our, guy our right design, here. Like Adam. <laughs> and really going, okay, you know, kind of um, handing that stuff out over the course of the game, you know, finding those right spots where you kind of, okay, we're going to teach you how to punch and how to kick and how to punch guys up in the air and use your webs. But then we lay on, layer on things like gadgets and then the suits and the suit powers. And it's just, it's kind of giving over time. If we just, you know, one thing with some like E3, you know, we want you to feel great, right? But there's a lot to learn really quickly. Um, so we it just, you know, normal course development, we kind of find those spots in the game where it makes most sense to teach those mechanics. And then as the game goes on, we want you to master those because the game's only gonna get harder. Yeah, absolutely. Sid, That's what great. do you think? I got to say, this game is Beautiful, looking right? absolutely gorgeous. This is, uh, I mean, this is just, I mean, it was looking spectacular to begin with, but this is on a totally different level. And oh I man, can just we're see that. So much. I can see that polish, though. <laughs> that's the thing. And that's what comes out in that f final few months of development. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you guys, I mean, you guys watched the press conference, right? Sure. You saw all those games, those first party games, and they, uh, they all have a level of polish. And to be um, in a press conference with the likes of a Naughty Dog, a Sucker Punch, uh, Kojima Productions, uh, just we are very honored to be and we know there's a certain level of this polish that people expect from a PlayStation game, especially your first party off. game. So we want to be considered um, right up there. Yeah. Well, and not to mention also from the Marvel, you know, Marvel fans course. expect to be have that perfect experience. Of course. May, may I just ask real quickly, you know, as, as we're starting to wind down here from a from a personal perspective, I mean, what's it like for you and for the team to be able to kind of look up at the big screen and see your game after after all that time? And all well, that work? Um, I'm known as a crier, so it it, <laughs> it, 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 it it takes a lot for me not to get choked up. Like uh, right now, they're playing the theme song to the game in the background as we're sitting here. Oh, and yeah. uh, I, I mean, this is an amazing industry, and uh, to be part of it is one thing, but to work on something you truly love is something that when you were a little kid thinking, oh my God, could I ever work on a Spider-Man game, let alone be in video games, is um, it's just absolutely surreal. I use that word a lot when I describe working on this game, and to work with a group like Sony and work with Marvel, and that feeling is so felt by so many Insomniac, so uh, we couldn't be prouder. And the support we've gotten across lie. the board, not only Feeling from uh, Sony, right Marvel, now. but also the fans has been spectacular. Nice Brian, uh, but it just looks incredible. I mean, there's no other word for it. <laughs> and uh, You're flabbergasted. You're, yeah, I really am, it's, it's stunning. I mean, just look at that. How can you not be blown away by that? <laughs> um, but we do have a limited amount of time here. Brian, you're an industry veteran. You've been in the industry yes. for a long time. Yeah. I know this is a lifelong dream for you working yes, on is. this game. And I want to thank you and Insomniac for making thank it. Thank you for having us. And yeah, for coming thank you. by thank as you. well. Spider-Man was so awesome that it broke my mic, and I have to use this stick <laughs> mic now. I, mean, <laughs> I, gonna, I thought you just wanted to look different from all of us. Yeah, I just maybe. wanted to yeah. stand out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Sid, actually, I think a little late, or a little earlier, we were able to maybe get some footage of some of the amazing that's right. experiential stuff that's going on with Spider-Man. Right? I mean, there really is something incredible going on here uh, at this PlayStation E3 showcase. I mean, it's, it's on a scale and a scope that we have just never seen before. And so we have people here, they're uh, playing the game. Uh, we have a lot of hands-on sessions for folks that are here for the showcase. And uh, just, it, it, the game looks great, but I just love the way this whole, oh, I know that, I know her. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> There's familiar faces popping up That's on the right. stream. But I mean, it's just, it's a great, great event here. And it's just, I wish we could get everybody in here to try this out and to just see uh, what has been sort of constructed. Uh, with Spider-Man and with uh, actually another game we're about to talk about. Yeah, we're Ghost about to, we're about to talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. We have some